so we're going to do uh, notes on limits, and they're going to be graphic and numeric limits. Um, so first off, we do need to talk about the definition of a limit. Um, and essentially, it's really an approximation of what a limit is. is it's as, as we get closer and closer to a uh, y value, we're finding the limit. We don't necessarily want the exact value. Sometimes the exact value happens to be the limit value. Uh, but more often than not, for what we're dealing with, we're going to be dealing with holes and uh, jump discontinuity, stuff like that. So um, got to be kind of be careful. So if we're looking um, at this definition right here, and again, you can read it. What I really do care about is this part right there saying that the limit exists if and only if the left side, that's what that little minus sign right here means, is as X approaches a number from the left, is the same as when x approaches that same number from the right side. What does that mean? Well, right below here is a graph. It, it is kind of hard to read this graph. So I'm going to kind of just trace over it so it looks better on the screen. Okay. So <clears throat> if I'm looking at this graph right here, and that's given by this function right here, this x minus 9 uh, root x minus 3 in the bottom. Um, as we approach 9, we get closer and closer on the left-hand side. When we get really, really close to 9, like at like 8.99999, what's our height at? Looks like it's at about 6. And from the left-hand side, sorry, that was from the left-hand side, and then from the right-hand side, I forgot if I said right or left first, but anyway, this is the right-hand side. From the right-hand side, as we get closer and closer and closer to like 9.00001, what's our height at? Six. So the approximate value as we approach from the left and from the right are the same. So this would equal six. Okay. If we look at the exact same function in the table, so this is what I'm talking about. Like as we're getting really close, we're at uh, 8.9. And this is the left side of nine. It's pretty gosh darn close there to uh, six. And then as we go 8.99, it gets even closer to 6. And it gets even closer and closer and closer. And then same thing on the right-hand side. Starting at 9.1 and going all the way down to 9.0001. Get closer and closer and closer to 6. So that is how you uh, read off limits off of a graph. Again, making sure the left and the right side meet together at 1. And then whatever that height is. And then tables, same thing. They're getting closer and closer to what value as you get closer and closer to that um, value that we want. In this case, we wanted um, the limit to approach 9. So let's go ahead. I didn't really talk about what this means. So just technically, this is what all limit problems look like. They have the little uh, LIM, and below it is X, and then an arrow. And then sometimes they're one-sided, sometimes they're not. Um, this one's not one-sided, so you have to check both sides. Okay. As we go on to the other side here, so you have this graph. It looks kind of wacky. Um, lots of stuff is going on it. We're going to go ahead and answer these questions. Now, it's totally possible for a limit not to exist. If a limit does not exist, you need to show the work that the left side and the right side do not match. Okay, so um, looking at this one right here. The limit as x approaches zero. I can just look at this. So I'm using my two different markers. And here's the right side and here's the left side. As I get closer and closer, well, this one's kind of whacking the left hand side to zero, you notice that the tips of my pens don't match up. So that means that this is not going to exist. So we have to show that work. So the limit as x approaches 0 from the right-hand side of h of x. So from the right-hand side, so, so here's 0, and this is the right side. As I get closer and closer and closer to 0, my height is 2. And then uh, now let's look at the limit as x approaches 0 from the left. Now, as we get closer and closer to zero, well, it's kind of doing this wacky thing, going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So you can't really tell um, where this is going to end up. This is actually oscillating, and we'll get more to that um, on an example below. But since this is oscillating, this does not exist. 
So we can't tell what the left uh, limit is. So since these do, two do not match, I'm going to write, therefore, the limit as x approaches 0 of this function does not exist. All right. A uh, little bit more plain insight here, uh, the second part with x approaching 2. Um, if we look at 2, we get closer and closer to 2 from the right. You can see where the height is, and from the left, you can see where the height is. They don't match up, so I'm going to know it does not exist. So as we go from the right-hand side, my height's going to be 1. As we go from the left-hand side, my height is going to be 2. Therefore, the limits as we approach 0. Why did I write 0? This should all be 2s. And I'm not recording this again. So sorry. Maybe I'll record this again in another year. Those should be 2s. OK, so as we approach uh, limit as x approaches 2 of this function, h of x, well, it does not exist, again, because those two sides they do not match. They actually kind of like that. All right, and now let's look at 4. So looking at our graph here, looking at 4 from the uh, – I'll take my two pins again. So we get closer and closer and closer. Hey, look, they do match. So the answer here is going to be 2. And I don't need to show the right and the left. I don't need to show that work. Only if it does not exist. Otherwise – any answer. Two. All right, so here are some other examples where it does not exist. Um, so here's my function, sine of uh, pi over x. And this is what it looks like on a graph, and you can see what it is on a table. Um, as you can see on the graph and the table, it alternates. Like as you get closer and closer and closer, it's up and down and up and down, both sides, up and down, up and down, up and down. So this one is actually going to equal. Well, doesn't equal anything, so it does not exist. Since it does not exist, you have to state a reason why. It's not because the right and the left don't match up. It's because it is going up and down like this. So it is oscillating. So just that's good enough right there to say hey, it does not exist. It's oscillating. All right, and next one. Um, they're super nice and drew this graph for you. This is a graph that you could probably plot on your own um, and get comfortable with being able to do graphs like this. So as I approach the left and the right from zero, that was terrible. All right, there we go. I'm getting different heights from the right side and the left side. I can't just say does not exist. I know that's the answer. But I need to show that work. So the limit as x approaches zero from the right of x over absolute value x is, from the right-hand side, the height is 1. And then the limit is x approaches 0 from the left of this x over absolute value x is negative 1. Therefore, the limit, so we approach 0, x over absolute value x, that does not exist. Okay, and that sums up uh, limits here going graphic and numeric. What a great time.